he for she, actors, activists, advocates, are you in the house? I can't hear you. Are you in the house? Today we celebrate an important group of three, the He For She Impact Champions. What we ended up doing resulted in our senior leadership team moving from 18% a year and a half ago to 47% gender parity today. We are increasing our number of tenure track faculty members in STEM disciplines again. We have a target of 30%. We are around 29 and a half right now. As of 2017, we have managed to notify over 3,500 marriages linked to the readmission of these children in school. In addition, the 2015 Marriage, Divorce and Family Relations Act was amended to raise the marriage age to 18 years. This is a huge milestone. Our core is a large company with roughly 300,000 people and 60% are women. Within three or four years, we're going to have equal pay. And I think when we started, we were kind of a 10, 12% between the men and the women. Today, we're less than 4%. Last year, we did a study, salary uh, discrepancies, and we found out that there was actually systemic discrimination against women. We allocated money, we cleared that gap immediately. We've established a research center, the Georgetown Institute for Women, Peace and Security. We're developing a global index that will enable us to rank nations and the contribution that women are making to ensuring peace and security in their, in those, in their nations. Nearly half of people who play games are women. We are committed to gender representation in our games to propel the gender equality movement and inspire inclusive communities. Let's allow everybody to access from their mobile devices educational content in Africa you know, whoever they are, students, teachers, and so on. And today we have uh, 31 deployments, 40,000, more than 40,000 students per week, 600 teachers. So our target was bring it up to 33% uh, by 2020. Now in 2017, we are at 35%. We have already exceeded. The main idea behind this initiative was to train specialists in the field of gender equality in order to support measures for preventing and combating domestic violence. So far, over 1,100 people were trained as experts. By 2020, 70% of Romania's national and local public institutions will have experts and technicians in gender equality. The fact that 90% of sexual violence is perpetrated by males uh, means that we have to target men in our education process on our campus. And so we do that. We decided in particular to create workshops on gender issues for those students having responsibilities within student societies of any kind, especially sports societies, but also arts and, and culture societies. We also offered workshops on prevention and self-defense against sexual assault. This includes also a practice of self-defense, which we found increases self-esteem and also the capacity of women to take decision in conditions of threats. A group of 40 students 
who were trained as gender advocacy uh, specialists and they assist with counseling, advocacy, and particularly they work in residences where we have a number of incidents around gender-based harm. In Finland, all men must uh, either do military or non-military national service. The training offers tools on how to address, prevent and control aggressive actions. Annually, this training reaches around uh, 21,000 young men. That is uh, more than 80% of uh, their total amount. We're informed, as you said, by our Center for the Study of Men and Masculinities, who are doing groundbreaking research in this area. We're taking that research and trying to apply it, uh, to apply it uh, in the programs we utilize. There are 7,300 uh, men in Barclays now that have joined our women's initiative. And in making that network uh, connection, so men are engaged in gender equality as much as women, is very important. That 7,300 is up 50% in one year. None of this is possible without the men in the organization sponsoring the level of change, the personal capital that's needed, as well as the support to make holistic change throughout the entire organization. Which is why we have a big organization it's called WAG, Women at Accor Generation. 37% of the 10,000 members are men because they are the one basically making the progress. If you oppose one gender to the other, it will never work. It is an honor for me to be part of the first generation of impact champions at the forefront of the movement for gender equality. I'm honored to be part of the he for she movement. We'll continue the effort to become a role model in the uh, promoting gender equality. We are breaking down all the barriers, the barriers that should not have been there in the first place. And now our job is to cascade that in our company, in the countries we reside and work, and the communities in which we live.